Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see another aspect of event management tool and that is event field mappings. So to give you a high level overview, event field mappings are used just before or are they are triggered just before an alert is created. So the process is event is created, event rule is applied, after event rule is applied, event field mapping rules are checked in an order, they are applied and then the alert is created. So in this video we are going to see how to do a severity mapping from an additional information field on event to a severity field on alert using event field mapping. So there are a few tools in the market which are not able to properly pass the severity field directly into severity field on event but they pass the severity in an additional information field. So let's proceed. I will show you I have two use cases. This, this video is related to the first use case which is only severity field mapping. I have created a article on community so you can look at this article and these are the use cases event uh, mapping priority from additional information to severity of an alert and the second use case which I have is CI binding using event field mapping for which I will be creating another video. So let's look at this rule. Uh, before I explain you this let me show you the postman tool from where I'm going to create the event into service. Now here you can see from field is postman severity which is nothing but this part in additional information field. So from field and to field these are the two important things where you face the value from this field you look here in the key value if it matches then the value which is given here is assigned to the severity field okay in this example it's severity you can have multiple fields like you can have type you can have a message key whatever you want to do there are two types of field mapping okay one is single field which you just saw and the another one is constant if I say constant then it's like a static value so from this source if event is coming you can say okay severity will be always high always low or medium whatever you want but for this example, we are going to use this, okay? Without wasting time, I'm going to go to Postman tool and then I'm going to create event in service now, send. You can see it is created. Let's see if the event is created or not. Yes, the event is created. Now the most important part is, it's still in ready state, let's wait for it to be processed yeah now it is processed i will show you here you, the most important thing is here you can see the severity is none but the alert which is created there will be a severity of high because we have passed this as an high so here you can see the processing nodes first the ci binding happened uh, and then the rule was applied and then it says that mapping rules applied it's a field mapping rule so everything is posted in the processing nodes okay let's go and jump to the alert 10203 let's wait okay so here you can see the severity is now major and that is nothing but so one is highest, two is high, which was mapped with this, and two in the back end uh, on alert, two is nothing but major. So it was properly mapped. So in this way, you make use of event field mapping to do severity mapping. So I just wanted to explain you this particular process, how it works. So to summarize, event is created first, then, event, then your CI binding happens using event rules after that uh, your event field mapping rules are applied and then the alert is created and whatever is happening here in this particular section event field mapping it is applied on your alert not on the event so that's it in this video if you like 
it just let me know if there are any improvements just let me know keep following keep subscribing